Hey guys, um, today I'm going to show you how to do some serious voodoo and turn your camera phone or uh, any kind of a webcam or uh, VCR or I mean video camcorder into a sophisticated 3D image capture device. We can actually turn it into a 3D scanner and get some uh, 3D models generated and then we can make some video games. For this project, we will need the video camera tracker, available on the DigiLab website. So make sure and download that and unpack it, and read the installation instructions. What we need for this is some video footage with the camera panning across the subject, like this. And this is going to be our 3D model. Once you've recorded your video, and open it up in VI DMOX 2, we can do some dramatic video editing. Dun dun dun! Just uh, highlight the start and end frame using the A and B buttons down here, and then go and uh, save as a selection of JPEG images. Give it a name, and it'll save a whole bunch of images there, and we can go and convert those to TGA so that they can be opened with Voodoo. Also need Mesa, the 32-bit uh, version of Mesa if you have a 64-bit system. Mesa libglu.i586 and uh, we also need Blender and AVI DMOX GTK. Just install those and we'll be ready to proceed with the next part of the video. Now we got to convert all these images, these JPEG images, to TGA format. Now if you have a graphics editing program like GIMP or Photoshop, you can do it in there. Or you can use ImageMagick to do the same thing. And there's a program in ImageMagick called Convert, and it can convert one image format to another. And we can do that in a loop in Linux. So um, convert x into uh, we're going to change the JPEG images to TGA and there we go all converted. Now we can actually load up Voodoo and as per the installation instructions we need to export the bin path to the uh, library there and run Voodoo. Now Voodoo is interesting um, we can actually open the sequence of images that we created. And just choose the biggest TGA image in there, that one. And under Move Type, choose Free Move and click OK. Now in the Voodoo window, there's going to be some buttons down here at the bottom and you can play the clip or you can actually go over here and press the track button and it will start converting this into a 3D image. You can see the progress. Once that's done, we can export this into Blender. Save as a Blender Python script. Give it a name like uh, test. And just click OK. Now we're ready to load it up in Blender. Start Blender. 
go up and delete that center cube. Click down here with the right mouse button and split area. Choose uh, the text editor and click the arrow. Go open new. And right here, choose that file we saved earlier, test pi and alt p runs the script and that prints out or puts these uh, points to the screen. You can actually see a 3D image starting to form there. Now we can delete the vertices that we don't want by um, editing them or we can just uh, unselect them and press the space bar, add a UV sphere and just move that back to where the face is. Right click on the face and rename it from uh, point cloud to uh, call it uh, F for now. Right click on this ball we're going to add a modifier to it. Choose the shrink wrap modifier and under object type your F there and uh, choose the nearest vertex modifier. Now we can move this around and kind of uh, fill out those points there with the sphere. Press the S key to scale it up to, to the right size and uh, just kind of choose um, a just kind of choose it when it looks good. It's kind of uh, there. That that looks a little better. We, we're we're doing a low polygon to save time. Now. Choose the UV image editor. We're going to texture it. Open the image. Choose the first one. And over here, press the numpad 1 key. Press the tab. And uh, actually, we'll, we'll hit apply on this thing. And then press the tab. And press the U key. And on project from view. Press S. Scale that down and transpose it over the face. And in this view here, choose textured and just kind of adjust that until it looks good. Now we can do some fancy stuff to the uh, to the graphic. We can move it around. We can attach it to models. We can make it distorted in 3D. We can edit the mesh. We can ask ourselves, what would we look like with a really long nose? Have fun with that.